The coolest thing of all was is when I was here and SDN began, you had Jeff Bagwell, who had just been named the National League Rookie of the Year, um, and you had Vin Baker, who was still here playing basketball uh, on this campus at the time. Everyone was talking about Vin Baker, Vin Baker this, Vin Baker that. Vin Baker scored 2,000 against Drexel University. Vinny Baker, very talented young man. Talented indeed. How much do you think he could possibly earn if he plays for the NBA? Well, well let me tell you this much now. Vinny Baker has the potential to be making millions of dollars in cash. So to interview Vin and to be able to cover his college career and, uh, you know, all the times that, uh, you know, I had asked him questions before and after games, certainly I'll never forget that. Not at all. And Vin and I even joked about it when he was playing with the Celtics. It was definitely a good time, you know, to have that opportunity with Channel 2 News to be able to cover those games, like I was doing it for real. And then, wouldn't you know, he goes to the Celtics, I happen to be working in Rhode Island, now I'm covering him on the pro level, and it was just like old times, and that was really cool. And they get hit by media all the time, you know, whether it's Kerry or Ben Baker or Jeff Bagwell, but they respected that we were media, and they answered our questions, with them. We do a lot of serious stuff, and that's important, but you have to have fun in what you do or you're not going to put in that effort to do the serious stuff. We always had fun making our own promos and commercials. Junior year, I had a class that was in that calm room right above the studio, and it was from 7 to 10, and they would always be setting up in the studio for the show, and I'd sit by the window. And I got on a ladder up to that soundproof window. So one day I'm sitting in the middle of class. And all of a sudden I hear bang, bang, bang. Film it! Film it! Film it! Woo! And everybody in the class turned around and looked at me because they could all hear right through that window. And then we used that for a commercial. We also started doing multiple shows, um, you know, shows that weren't just the news, but also trying to get a lot of kids involved. To, you know, we did a, a cooking show, we did a political debate show, um, we did a short filmmaking show, trying to expand things and expand our core membership and um, really try to turn it from just uh, student news to student television network. You're always supposed to remember all the fun you had in college uh, for the rest of your life, and certainly STN was a big part of that. And a lot of the fun that I had came from SDN because we were just having a blast starting this organization, just kind of winging it. It was like a real world job. What I liked about this opportunity was it was applicable to what you could do in the real world. We really treated everything that we did as a job and I think that's great experience in any form, whether you're getting into television or any career. I think the best thing that I got out of STN is learning to work as part of a team learning to just think on your feet and pretty much do all the real life responsibilities that you will need once you go out into the workforce. It really helped me just overall with public speaking skills, um, building friendships and relationships, knowing how to just communicate, um, a lot of great things. My advice to people in STN now would be definitely enjoy everything that you're doing, but also make sure that you find time for yourself. Don't ever think you know everything, because you don't. Um, you know, I, I came in thinking I knew a lot, but I didn't. And don't be afraid to make a mistake, because the one time you mess it up, the next time you're not going to do it. If you're not sick in the head, please don't do this for a living. You have to really, seriously be sick in the head. It pleases me to see that 15 years later, uh, not only is STN going, but it's an, an integral part of the campus and that people possibly come here because of what STN offers. It was the spring of 94, Steve Jarmy and I remember we were at the Harry Jack Gray Center and we were talking and uh, I said to Steve, I go, Steve man, wouldn't it be cool if like five, ten years from now, twenty years from now, whatever, STN was still around? You know, and they had members and they were going strong and always doing newscasts, you know, keeping this dream that we had and that we built alive. And he looked at me and he was like, yeah, he goes, that would be cool. He's like, but don't get your hopes up. He's like, it probably isn't going to happen. I was like, Steve, I don't know, man. I think it is going to grow strong and I think it is going to get better. And I think it is going to be here for a while. And I think we are going to have reunions and anniversaries and stuff like that. It was an awesome experience. You know, having the opportunity to actually sit down uh, with a bunch of your peers. There was about 10, 12 of us uh, back in September of 92 that all gathered in that edit suite at the Harry Jack Gray Center. And just to think what we accomplished, what we did, and knowing right now that 
it's still going on is it's amazing. It really is. It's absolutely amazing.